Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. I wanted to give a few updates on trades for stocks, futures, and forex using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com. In this trading journals video, I'm going to be using the Ninja Trader version. So let's start with a stocks trade, swing trade on a daily time frame. And this is what was on KEM, and we've, I've recently closed this. So let's talk through the the whole of the trade. So basically, we've had the wave four Elliott wave into our pullback zones, found support in our green zone, which is an 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high. Our oscillator, our special oscillator, has pulled back within 90 to 140 percent, which is great. Uh, and then we got the target up here, which is already hit. So. After the wave four found support started to move away, uh, we needed an entry above the 6.4 moving average high, which is this blue. It's the conservative entry strategy as part of this uh, Elliott Wave indicator sweep. Uh, so we didn't get in quite straight away, but we managed to get in just at around $21. And then this is the daily time frame. So as you can see, within uh, nine or ten days we'd hit the target zone and taken profit so great trade on KEM this month using the Elliott Wave indicator suite and again this is exactly the same whether it's TradeStation Think or Swim or the Ninja Trader version which I'm using right now so a good example of Euro US dollar on the three minute time frame okay so for those traders on Euro US dollar Exactly the same sort of principle again on the three minute time frame. Uh, wave three happens, wave four pulls back into the green zone, finds support, starts to move away. The six four moving average is crossed to go higher. We've got the 535 oscillator here on the wave four pullback between 90 and 140%. So all these things are adding up to a really good high probability move. We then look for an entry. Uh, entry here was above this uh, doji and way outside the 6.4 moving average high. And the target zone was pushed straight through. So great profit on this short trade on the three minute time frame for Euro US dollar. Again, it's using the same strategy, the same pullback zones and uh, the oscillator pullback, combining them all together, just showing the versatility, whether it's a daily time frame on stocks or a three minute time frame on Forex. And lastly, on ES, on the 15 minute time frame, exactly the same thing again. So we've got at the bottom, we've got the 535 oscillator, the wave four pulls back. You see the crown of the pullback on the oscillator within the 90 to 140 percent zone. Really good setup here. Wave 4 find support in the green zone, 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new high. Conservative entry above these highs because we didn't really break out of the 6.4 moving average until this green candle here. So then we want to go above that high and then eventually taken into the trade here. And again, as you can see on the close on Friday, uh, the 20th of October, we hit the target zone and closed out the trade. So there's three good examples in this trading journal of futures, forex, and stocks on different time frames, showing you just to use the same strategy, the same sort of setups, uh, and the versatility of this Elliott Wave indicator suite. Again, I've used the Ninja Trader version this time, but it's exactly the same for Think or Swim and TradeStation. So, that wishing you a great trading week, and hopefully you'll come on board and take a look at these uh, indicator suites for these various trading platforms.